Hello, Udemy. I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakespeare.com, and welcome in lecture number nine. Today, we are going to discuss about the flash data, and we are going to create the custom helper, and we are going to custom functions in that file. So, first of all, we are going to create the form. Now, uh, we have index method, and I am going to comment all the sections so you can easily get the code. Okay, I'm going to create a login system. So now I'm saying login. Now copy all the code and paste the code here. Go to the home sections and I'm saying this is the login system. So now create a file in the home directory which is available in the view. So home directory, create a file. Okay, you have created the file. Now what you need, just need to define the content here. I'm saying this is the container and now I'm saying this is the row and I'm saying this is the, uh, sorry, this is the column and I need 12 column and now I'm saying that uh, I have to start the form. form okay you can also use the custom form helper from the coding network but i'm using this form. i'm saying action and now i'm saying method and now i'm saying that uh, i have to use the form group and now i'm saying in the form group form group i'm saying i'm going to use the input type and text and the name is email and the placeholder is enter your email here and now i am saying i have another field which is the password and i am saying this is the password and i am saying enter your password or you have to use okay email and now I'm saying I have another, sorry. Form group. I'm going to create the button. I'm saying login, the type is submit and uh, the Class is button, button, finally, go to the page, refresh the page and now open the login method. So this is the login method because you have the same navigation bar. Okay, now I am saying I have a class x uh, margin top and now open the CSS file from the CSS section, style.css, add some style here, I am saying margin. margin top I am saying 100 pixel go to the page refresh the page control F5 you have added the margin then what you need just need to define the class also here class form control so it will add the 100 person so form control so I am saying this is a column 6 okay fine great click on this now remove the this section from the footer or okay leave this i am going to send this form method is post and the action is a site url i am saying home and uh, user far suppose so go to the home controller and add a method user and now I am saying that uh, echo working or not working go to the page refresh the page click on this it's saying working okay so definitely you have to use the form validation class or 
the custom validating for suppose if I'm using the custom if I'm validating the fields that that means I'm saying this or I'm saying input and now I'm saying post it takes few parameters the field name and the second is true field name is email so this is your email and uh, I'm going to use the associative array this is associative array it's not going to anywhere now I need to add the password so this is a password field and also I'm saying this is a password now war dump your data because you are using the associative array go to the page refresh the page add the email and password login as you can see it's saying email and password you're sending but how can you validate your form two ways you can also use the form validation class uh, from the official uh, from the coding editor or you can use your custom code i'm saying if if empty for suppose which if i'm saying if this is empty or you can use or or you can also use the or fields oh sorry this is or this is or okay now copy this bad boy if i'm saying if this field is empty or this field is empty redirect with error else i'm saying fine fine here you can generate the error go to the page refresh the page it's saying fine if you are doing nothing it's saying error so how can you uh, generate the error and how can you read that definitely you can use the flash data so how can you use the flash data i'm saying session flash data but before using session you have to load the session library so open the config auto load file auto load find the library so these are the libraries uh, where is the library okay library then you have to load the session library or second session class okay so now you don't need to load the library here okay i'm saying this session it takes few parameters the key and value for suppose i'm saying error error the error is please check your fields and definitely you have to redirect redirect to this method that means i'm saying home and now login okay fine you are setting the error and you are redirecting to this but go to the page refresh the page now as you can see it's redirecting fine but it's not showing the error so what happens you have to go to the login section and uh, create and check and uh, i'm saying session okay i'm saying this session i'm saying this session flash data okay set flash data it's not a flash data you have to use a set flash data while setting the data it takes one parameter if you are calling the session data if you are saying echo go to the page refresh the page it's not showing anything click on this now it's showing that means you have to check before echo this now what you need just need to check either the session is available or not i'm saying if provide this here equals to true then do this okay go to the page remove this refresh the page click on this it's saying fine 
due to the get rid of strap don't worry i'm going to explain it and everything and now i'm saying error fire the error or if i'm saying alert so they are saying alert okay copy the entire code paste the entire code here if i'm saying if the session is set colon i'm saying end of here and now what you need you just need to set the session sorry not set show the error here so you have to show the error okay fine go to the page click on this so now as you can see it's showing please check the required fields now click on this again and refresh the page so now we can see it's not showing the error click on this showing the error click on this showing the error click on this error. okay so now it's fine but you have a single method and you are doing like this you are separating the code you are writing a single line of code and you are the second line of code you are redirecting this okay so this is fine but if you have a uh, thousands of methods so why you need to repeat the same code instead of doing this you have to create a, a custom helper and you have to load the custom helper so how can you do that just a second so go to the helpers so this is the helpers create a custom helpers create a file name custom underscore helper so i'm saying custom underscore helper okay now here you have to define the method sorry functions not method i'm saying function and uh, the function name is custom flash okay so this is a fun function it takes three parameters how the error the value and the read array so how i'm saying the error second is value third is redirect url or redirect url okay now i'm saying here in the custom you cannot call the helpers directly you need the url helper you need the session class and you need okay you need only two things first of all i'm saying ci so you have to create the instance first so i'm saying get instance now i'm saying ci ci load helper which helper i'm saying you are okay copy this bad boy and i'm saying library library which library in this time i'm saying session library okay fine then what you need you just you just need to write the flash data i'm saying this is the flash data ci session set flash data set flash data this is the error url and redirect but you you need a dynamic class because this is the warning class so i'm saying copy this i'm saying class and the value is this now copy this bad boy and i'm saying the error what is the error your error goes here 
make sure you need the error you need a class and uh, you need a redirect url so use error your class error class so your class you are creating the dynamic class here okay so what you need you need now the redirect now i am saying redirect your redirect url goes here okay now call this custom functions on every way how remove this code or comment this bad boy call this function it takes three parameters you know very well that first parameter is the error i am saying please check the required fields the second parameter is class i am saying alert alert dench alert warning now the redirect you have to pass the redirect i am saying home and now the log so go to the section go to the section and now login use the dynamic class also here class and this is the dynamic class so this is the class this is the error so now go to the page refresh the page click on this undefined function custom flash okay before doing this you have to load this custom uh, helper so go to the config auto load in the helper sections helper load this helper custom sorry custom underscore helper go to the page refresh the page so now it, it's showing us the error so before doing this you always use two line of code now you can perform the same operation with a single line of code so it's very hard to define and it's very easy to define custom what we just need to call the custom flash but what about this on every you have a single login page for suppose if you have a hundreds of pages and uh, hundreds of sections where you can uh, check the flash data so how can you do that so you have to create the custom flash data now you have to check the custom flash data so now how but what happen if you have a uh, multiple forms then definitely you need to copy this code and you need to copy paste this code to all other forms or all other sections then this is a problem now how can you solve this problem you need to define the custom helper here so now i am creating another function and the function name is check flash check flash data so now create instance and here you have to check if the session is available or not i am saying that if the session ci sorry ci session flash data class or error you can check both flash data or you can also check a single data i'm going to check both data okay now i'm saying check this and also check class if these two sections is available what you need you just need to load the the 
session library before doing this we have to load the session library and now fetch the data I'm saying session this is a class and this is the error now I'm going to separate my HTML code don't worry I'm going to use the associative array here now I'm saying this is the class and now I'm saying this is the error okay now I have to load the view CI load and now I am saying view I am saying go to the error error and now I am saying this is the custom underscore error or custom error and I am passing the associative array here so create you, ha you definitely have a view in the view you have an error sections now create the file sorry single file you have created the single file and go to the login sections copy all the code add the, all the code here now this is a class this is a file so you don't need to check the class here and so you don't need to okay because you are not checking here you are just calling the methods okay so now it's fine what you need you just need to define this check so remove these lines of course only use this method to check the flash data now go to the page refresh the page it's not showing anything click on this okay it's saying error custom dot unable to load the request file custom dot error so here you have created you have to errors just a second in the error we have a custom error file errors okay i understand fresh the page click on this fine click on this fine click on this fine click on this fine so in this way you can reduce your code or you can reduce the line of code and uh, now as you know you have two different functions custom functions and you can call these two custom function on everywhere on entire website so in this way you can create the custom function so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to create now the dynamic pages thank you for watching